Hey guys, I just wanted to jump into this. I think today is a very big day in the milestones of Enphase batteries. Um, today was a huge launch from what I'm seeing. I'm not sure if it happened in the past couple of days. This is something we've been anticipating for a while. I was on LinkedIn and I saw Ian, who is our regional sales manager at, um, Enphase, and he posted the uh, Enphase IQ Battery 10C. This is something that we've been anticipating that was coming out, waiting for it, but haven't haven't got eyes on it until right now. So I am going to get their website up, and we will check this out all together. Um, this is the launch of the IQ Battery. 10C, an all-in-one AC coupled storage system. The IQ Battery 10C integrates 240 volt, 120 volt microinverters, providing backup functionality and removing the need for additional neutral forming hardware, provides a total usable energy capacity of 10 kilowatt hours and delivers 7.08 kW of continuous power, easily supporting heavy loads such as HVAC units and power uh, pool pump. So yeah, awesome to, to see this. I just will also want to go to, let me back out of this a second because you have to see the entire layout on the wall. There it is. There's the 10 C battery. Um, here's the IQ combiner six C and here's the meter collar as well for it. The IQ meter collar. So this is all new tech right here. Uh, this is all new to Enphase. We actually just started using the Enphase 5P battery. We have not installed one yet. Uh, we've installed um, over 100 customers with Powerwall batteries, which you can see right behind me. We're in, we're in uh, my basement uh, here where I have four Tesla Powerwall 2s. Um, but right now, this is a big day for Enphase because they just launched this 10C battery, which is 10 kilowatt hours of backup storage. But I think to know where we came from, where we're at now, we have to see where we came from. So this is their, this is their second generation battery right here. You could see what a monster this thing is on the wall. You have your IQ combiner, uh, your battery in the middle, your system controller, your sub panel, um, IQ load controller. Just in being honest, we didn't use this because look at, there's just so much equipment here. Uh, it just didn't make sense for us to use this. And then this third generation battery came out. Um, this is what we've spec'd out now for a couple of our customers and we're gonna be installing one very soon. And each of these, these are big boys right here. Um, these, these right here are five kilowatt hours a piece. So this is five kilowatt hours, uh, both of these together, 10 kilowatt hours of backup storage. You have your IQ combiner, you have your system controller, you have your sub panel, you have your IQ load controller. So still a lot of components here um, on this system. And that's why we were waiting for this fourth gen to come out. And it looks like this is it. I mean, a real consolidation of parts here with the IQ 10 C battery and the IQ combiner and the meter collar, uh, the things that I'm interested in and still for our customers that we're using the, uh, five P battery on this fourth gen battery, even though it was just released from end phase, it's going to be a little bit, I mean, we didn't even get pricing on it yet. Our distributor doesn't even have the data sheets and probably until probably tomorrow morning when we call them up for them. And the big thing is our utility company. Uh, we're in like the Hudson Valley area. So getting our utility companies to adopt this new tech and it doesn't matter that Enphase released it. It matters when our local utility finally accepts it, which uh, it's, it's a total shit show with, sometimes with the way these things go down. But that's why us as the installers work through that for all of our customers. Um, for those of you that, who this is our first time meeting, uh, my name is Anthony Sicari. I run a uh, solar company here in the Hudson Valley called New York State Solar Farm. And we help homeowners uh, go solar 
as well as backup storage, whether that be with Tesla Powerwalls or end phase batteries. So that's why we're going over this today. We're excited to see this and can't really wait to get our hands on one of these and also know what the pricing is on these. Um, how much are they gonna cost? So this is, let's look at this here. So let's get into it, let's look at it. So what are the components? We have our IQ battery 10C, we have our IQ combiner, and we have our IQ meter collar. So what do these do? This is our backup storage as well, uh, right here. So 10 kilowatt hours of backup storage. Our combiner is basically the system controller. We combine our circuits of solar. We combine our battery circuits in there. Um, so this combines everything. That's why it's our combiner panel. It's combining our solar circuits and our battery circuits. Also, what's pretty cool on here is it does, if you get the Enphase car charger, that can go in there as well. Um, and I believe load shedding devices uh, you could have in there uh, too. And then you have the IQ meter collar. Um, now Tesla's had their meter collar out for a while. Um, our friends at Eco Solar in Hawaii are using that right now, but still uh, we do not have access to that in New York. So probably this IQ meter collar, hopefully we get access to this right away, but this is probably knowing the way we do things here in the state, this is probably a year out, this meter collar. Uh, so I'm interested, interested to see if it's the system control that we're still going to have to use uh, in replacement of this. But let's learn a little bit more. Let's dive into the IQ Battery 10C. Let's see what they have here on the website. As I'm going through this, I'm seeing this for the first time tonight. So this is live reactions to it. Um, also, as I'm going through this, I'm coming up with my own questions to ask Enphase and to uh, ask our engineers and designers. I'm not an engineer. Um, I'm just the guy who's uh, been helping homeowners get these installed, working with our engineers, working with our team, seeing what works, what doesn't work, what benefits the customer, what doesn't, um, what's simple um, and straightforward and what's just a little too hard and not gonna work out in the long run. So excited to see this. Um, but right now, look at this battery. I mean, the details on this thing it's so much smaller than the 5P. This, this battery here, um, look, let's look at the dimensions of this. Look at the, uh, where is it right here? So with 28 inches, depth 14 inches, height 24.5 inches. So, um, I mean, you see the size of the Powerwall 2s behind me, and we're talking a height of 24 inches and a width of 28 inches that's that's insane um but also the weight so we're talking total weight on this 317 pounds uh tesla powerwall is roughly 300 pounds so we're the same same weight load there um let's go up here let's see what we got going on with um some details that they list here on the site so this one stuck out to me Easily scalable, 10 kW to 80, um, 10 kilowatt hours to 80 kilowatt hours. So basically you could stack eight of these together for a total of 80 kilowatt hours, which would, that would be a beast of a system. That's a big system right there. Fully integrated AC battery system, high energy density, uh, high energy density design, taking up less wall space. Definitely does that. I mean, you're talking 10 kilowatt hours in that space. That's pretty good energy density there. Cools passively with no moving parts or fans. That's awesome. Thing that sticks out for me in the Northeast is does it, can we put these outside? Does it have a heat mode or something like that where in the event we can't get these in the garage, can they go outside? I'm talking to other installers too that have installed the 5P batteries. They've kept them outside in the Northeast. They've been okay, but the customer is aware of it um, that once they get down to a certain temp that they're not going to be functioning to their best abilities. Um, stable lithium iron phosphate uh, LFP chemistry uh, for maximum safety and longevity. And what do we have here? Technical specs, um, 7 kVA, uh, 10 kilowatt hours, DC round trip efficiency, 96%, um, AC round trip efficiency, 90%. So yeah, just all 
all the new specs on this unit, what's in the box comes with the 10 C battery, uh, the cover and a wall mounting bracket. Okay. All the stuff you'd expect to come with it. That's good. So here's the data sheet. Let's, um, let's look at that a second. Let's jump into that data sheet and see what we have here. So let me blow this up a little bit. So IQ 10 C IQ battery, 10 C what do we have going on? So rated output current 29.5 amps. You could see right here um, on the data sheet, uh, interconnection, single phase, all of these batteries are single phase, um, nominal Hertz, usable capacity, 10 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. Right now, the competitors that we're going up against. I'm very familiar with Powerwall. So all the Powerwall threes are 13.5 kilowatt hours of backup storage. So a little less kilowatt hours, but a little smaller unit as well. So um, those are the trade-offs, the, the pros and cons of each of them. Lithium iron phosphate, as we said before, and um, here they are. That's how they're stacking on the wall there. They're showing the six inches in between, in between units. Interested to see um, if there's like a trunk cable that goes in between them if you're doing like expansion units. Um, but I didn't see anything like that. So probably, probably not from what I'm seeing, but maybe wishful thinking. Um, yeah, here's all the rest of the data sheets on that. Let's jump back to the site and look at, let's jump in and look at the combiner. I want to look at that and just show that a little bit um let's learn more about the iq combiner 6c so the iq combiner 6c consolidates interconnection equipment into a single enclosure simplifying the installation of the iq series microinverters and iq battery batteries by offering consistent pre-wired solutions for residential applications the big thing as an installer and also from a customer standpoint is um, from what I've heard, this has the CTs pre-wired in there. So it leaves less room for errors when monitoring. So usually when we install a system, some of the common issues that pop up after are um, monitoring that's um, mirroring. It's um, ba basically the um, CT cables are flopped or opposite or um, the um, from the factory, some things, some things up, but most of the time it's because of a CT issue. So it's nice that these are all pre-wired. So it takes the human error out of it. Um, also sometimes it's, it's tricky when you go on some job sites, depending. So it's not like, oh, they just did it wrong. It's like these systems that we're doing are complicated sometime, a lot of the times. And is it a supply side connection? Is it a backfed breaker? And those things pop up. So having things pre-wired, awesome. We definitely like that. So let's look at the details of it. So smart integrated controller and IQ gateway includes N phase mobile connect. Um, that's awesome. So it's got the cell card, um, supports flexible networking, Wi-Fi, ethernet or cellular always want to have cellular and Wi-Fi two forms of communication with it. It's just best practice when you are installing these units, uh, provides consumption load, third party PV and EV monitoring. I love when manufacturers say easy to install because if you ever tell your install team, oh, this is easy to install, you're going to get slapped on the wrist. That's probably like one of the dumbest things you could say in solar is something's easy to install or in construction or in general because nothing's ever simple. Um, a lot of the times people think this is like installing an iPhone on your roof. Like, no, the, this is a construction project. There's a lot that goes into these things. Uh, Pre-wired installed UL489 certified device for rapid shutdown, need rapid shutdown to comply. Um, what else is interesting in here? What was interesting to me is if you go to the, um, let me see if I have it here. Share this tab instead. So this was on the installation um, data sheet that they supplied. And this, this is the IQ combiner right here in the middle. So let me just blow this up a little more, but it kind of just gives you a good overview of what that IQ combiner does. So here it is, you have your solar panels on the roof, 
with your end phase microinverter. So that's a common thing. People are like, oh, there's microinverters in the batteries. Are there microinverters on the roof? Yes, that's one of the benefits of this system is the redundancy of it. So you have um, panels, microinverters. So those strings are going into one side of the combiner. Then on the whole other side here, you have your IQ uh, battery. So you have, let's just say you have two uh, 10C batteries. Here they are. And then you have your breaker slots for those as well. And that was pretty cool is you have, you could also have your uh, car charger in there, your non-backed up heavy loads. So let's just say you have a load that's, you know, bigger than what your batteries can handle, whether it be a pool pump, uh, a hot tub, something like, all right, let's not keep the hot tub on um, an emergency load. Let's put that aside. So cool to see that. So this gives you a good idea of what that IQ combiner combiner does. And then here you could see you have the IQ uh, meter collar, which is basically your transfer switch is what that's um, showing as like, you know, power goes out that kicks on and starts the microgrid of the entire system working together. So I'm no expert on this 10 C system. I am seeing this as you guys are seeing this. I just thought it'd be awesome to make a quick video, uh, going over this and just looking at what we have here and what's going on. But, uh, here it is. This is the, this is the five P battery. This is five kilowatt hours in this battery. This is the biggest thing that blows me away here is this is where they came from for five kilowatt hours and this is where they are where is it here let me back up this is where they are for 10 kilowatt hours so talk about consolidating and making it uh, more streamlined but here it is right here this is a full exploding view of that battery it almost reminds me of the um macbook that big cheese grater mac that they had um i don't know if they make it anymore but that's what this looks like to me so you could see microinverters on the sides and all battery in the middle before we had on the other one let me see if i can go to it um share this tab instead this one has the exploding view as well i believe so let me see if i can go here yeah here it is so this one had micros on the top and battery on the bottom the new one has micros on the side and batteries on the bottom so yeah pretty pretty cool to see what they have going on here and um yeah that's uh that's the end phase iq battery 10c 10 kilowatt hours so just released and I'm sure we'll learn a lot more about that in, uh, in the coming weeks, coming days. I'm sure people are going to see this and say, hey, let's get that one installed. But it's just so challenging when these things come out because it's not up to us that we could install. We could say, yeah, let's go for it. But then the utility company is like, not so quick. Uh, we want things that are going to take forever to get. So um, yeah, we'll keep you updated as we learn more about this. Have a great night.